Welcome once again, a very, very powerful session this time. We are reading from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. Paul writes to the saints in Ephesus, saying, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, that no one would boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared before that we should walk in them. This is a huge talking point for much of the evangelical Christian world. That is by grace we are saved through faith. And that's not of ourselves, not by works, lest anyone should boast. And people take that to the utter extreme. They say, it's nothing you can do to get saved. Nothing to do with any kind of human effort. Nothing to do with any kind of human work. Nothing that you or anybody else can do to get you saved. You are saved only by God's grace through faith. No kind of human work whatsoever, be it your work or anybody else's work, that will get you saved. And that doctrine permeates the evangelical Christian world today. But those people don't put a whole lot of thought into that doctrine. In fact, a lot of these evangelical Christians say, well, you got to come forward. You got to say the sinner's prayer. You got to accept Jesus. You got to confess him as Lord and Savior. And if you've never said the sinner's prayer, if you've never asked the Lord to forgive you, then you're not saved. Well, wait a second. Isn't saying the sinner's prayer a work? And some of these people out of one side of their mouth say, it's by grace through faith, not of yourselves, not by works, no works at all. You can't do anything to get saved and neither can anybody else do anything for that matter to get you saved. It is by the grace of God through faith. And then out of the other side of their mouth, they say, well, in Romans chapter 10, verse nine, Paul says that you must confess Confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. Isn't confessing the Lord Jesus a work? And even those who say, oh no, you don't have to confess, you don't have to say the sinner's prayer to get saved, you don't have to get baptized to be saved, uh, you know, all you gotta do is just believe just by grace through faith, that's it. Even those people are hypocritical because you got to hear the message. You got to either hear someone teach it or you gotta read it. And by the way, for the preacher to actually preach the gospel to you is a work. So you're saved by that man's works? So you're saved by the works of another? You're saved by the works of the Bible publishers who printed the Bible, the Bible that you read and got saved? But you said that it's not by anybody else's works to get me saved. Oh, but you said there's not by works to be saved. And at the very least, most of these evangelicals say, well, you know, you just got to believe in the gospel to get saved. You got to believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not by works. No, it's not by works at all. But wait a second. You actually got to go to that website. You got to go to that app to hear the message, to read the message, to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's a work. That's not only the works of those delivering the message to you. That's a work by you yourself in order to receive the message. And then you gotta listen and you gotta comprehend and you gotta receive it. Hearing a message, comprehending it and accepting it uses energy. It is work. It is something you have to do. So obviously most of these evangelicals, if not all of them, are very hypocritical, double standard in their theology. So in context here, Paul is saying by nature, you are children of wrath. You might comply with all the thou shouts, but you don't comply with all of the thou shalt nots, okay? So it's not about just works, it's about actually obeying the Torah. It's about actually tuning into it. It's a very spiritual thing. Paul said very clearly that the law of God is holy. It is spiritual. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. They think that, you know, you just gotta do this and do that and do the other thing, and that's good, you're all good. But they fail, they sin in many other points points because they don't adhere to the thou shalt nots. Paul made it very clear in many of his letters that works can get you into hell. Paul lists things over and over and over again. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 is one. Galatians chapter 5 is another. In Colossians, he also talks about lots of stuff where if you do all these things, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. In other words, heaven is not going to be your home. 
And finally, these grace and faith teachers take it completely out of context because they fail to mention the very next verse, verse 10. For we are his workmanship, workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, good works, which God prepared before that we should walk in them. Paul balanced it out a little bit here, saying, you know, it's not by works, but you are supposed to walk in this. You are to do good works. Good works is part of the equation here. Seek him while he may be found. If you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.